Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to pass a Goldman Sachs interview. So if you have a job interview coming up with this great organisation, please make sure you stay tuned, watch the presentation fully from start to finish because I promise to help make you the standout candidate during your interview. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of Goldman Sachs interview questions that I strongly advise you prepare for. I will give you strong, unique answers to tough Goldman Sachs interview questions. I will give you some tips on how you can be the standout candidate during your Goldman Sachs interview. And I will also tell you about further resources you can get access to, including these slides to help you succeed. So there's four great reasons why you should stay tuned and watch the presentation fully. Now, just very quickly before we get going, a very warm welcome to this Goldman Sachs interview presentation. My name is Richard McMahon. That is me there in the centre of the screen. I've been helping people like you to successfully pass their job interviews for the last 20 years. And I always do that by giving you top scoring, unique answers you can't find anywhere else. On that basis, please make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the content I upload. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video, and it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals. And all I ask is that you give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you, and I will also then answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much. So let's get going. The first question is tell me about yourself. Now, in your response to this first Goldman Sachs interview question, my advice is to talk about, number one, what makes you stand out from everyone else? Number two, the skills and qualities you have that will add value to this great organisation. And number three, what you can bring to the Goldman Sachs team. So here is my suggested answer to this first Goldman Sachs interview question. Tell me about yourself. I would like to think I am slightly different than most people who apply to Goldman Sachs. I am intensely ambitious. For example, in my last role, I was always asking my manager if I could get involved in different projects that would help me to broaden my skill set. I am a creative and innovative person, which means I get lots of job satisfaction when I am helping to create or improve a new and exciting product or service for my employer's customers or clients. I am intensely competitive, but at the same time, understanding that the organisation's needs must come above my own. And I will always work collaboratively with my co-workers and stakeholders to ensure you stay at the forefront of the sector. What I am trying to say is I feel I can bring something unique to the Goldman Sachs team because I genuinely want to work in a diverse organisation and I want to be pushed and challenged in my role so that I continually improve and develop. So that's a very strong, in-depth, positive answer that sets you up with confidence for the remainder of your interview. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we progress together. Or if you want to wait, I will tell you soon where you can download my full set of 26 Goldman Sachs interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are covering together today. The next question why Goldman Sachs? Why do you want to work for Goldman Sachs? Now, it is important you carry out some research into Goldman Sachs prior to your interview. My advice is to look at their website, look into their history, their recent news stories, and take a look at their LinkedIn corporate page. Here's a sample answer to help you. Why Goldman Sachs? I want to work for Goldman Sachs for a number of reasons. First and foremost, in my opinion, you are the best at what you do. Working at Goldman Sachs means I will be pushed continually. I will get to work alongside some of the brightest minds in the investment banking and financial services sector. And I will have the ability to work for a diverse range of clients, which will help to improve and develop my communication and interpersonal skills. Another reason I have chosen Goldman Sachs is because you care about the future generation. For example, you recently hosted an online Next Generation Summer Series event where attendees were able to listen to experts on subjects such as investing, career development, entrepreneurship and sustainability. Experts and influencers from around the world gave their time to educate and inform the next generation of innovators and change makers, which I felt was indicative of your forward thinking approach to your business and how you want to ensure you stay at the top of the sector. So that's another very strong answer to help you prepare for your Goldman Sachs interview. 
Now, don't go anywhere because I still have many more questions and answers to work through with you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of 26 Goldman Sachs interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. But here's the next question for you. What makes Goldman Sachs different from its competitors? Now, this is a clever interview question because it is assessing your understanding of the Goldman Sachs USP, their unique selling point, and what they focus on in their business whilst looking after their clients. Here's my example answer to help you. What makes Goldman Sachs different from its competitors? You are different because you put the needs of your clients, stakeholders and shareholders first, whilst helping local communities to thrive. You are totally committed to utilising a wide range of resources to help your clients and communities grow. There is a genuine passion across the organisation to not only set and maintain high standards, but to help the next generation continually grow and develop. You don't just advise clients, stakeholders and shareholders, but you also help them finance projects. You help them transact so economies can grow. You provide support for markets. You effectively and responsibly manage assets and you invest capital alongside your clients whilst at the same time innovating and thinking forwardly to ensure your strategic aims are constantly met. So that, in my opinion, is what makes Goldman Sachs so great and what makes them different from their competitors. So it's another strong answer. The next question, how do you deal with difficult situations? This Goldman Sachs interview question assesses your determination, your adaptability and your resilience levels. To bolster your response, my advice is to give an example difficult situation you were faced with and what you did to create a positive outcome. Here's my suggested answer to this common Goldman Sachs interview question. How do you deal with difficult situations? I deal with difficult situations by remaining calm, by putting the interests of the organisation I am employed by first and by taking decisive action in a responsible and results driven manner. For example, in my last job, I was working on a project with a small team of people creating a new web based product for a client. Towards the end of the project, the client needed to make some drastic changes to the specification while still maintaining the project deadline. This was a difficult situation because we had little time to make and implement the changes needed and there was a danger things could overrun. To deal with the problem, we held a team briefing, we discussed collaboratively the different options for meeting the client's needs and we then put a plan of action in place to successfully achieve the client's objectives. We drafted in another experienced team member from another department and we all agreed to work an additional two hours every evening to make the changes needed. By remaining calm, by using a logical approach to solving the problem and by utilising a clear and concise action plan, we overcame the challenge successfully and managed to submit the project on time. Now, what I like about that answer is you are not just explaining how you deal with difficult situations, you are giving a specific example of where you dealt with one, which shows that you can easily deal responsibly with difficult situations that you are faced with. So it's a great answer. The next question, how well do you work in a diverse team? Now, in your answer to this interview question, talk honestly about the benefits of a diverse team and how it can help an organisation thrive and provide an improved level of service for its clients. So here's my example answer to the interview question. How well do you work in a diverse team? I work well in a diverse team and I certainly believe there are massive benefits to embracing different ideas, opinions, cultures and views. I also believe that if an organisation is to continue being successful, it needs to embrace change and diversity in an honest and positive manner. After all, the communities and the clients we serve are diverse, so the only way we can provide a first class service is to create and develop a diverse team. Whilst working in any team, I am always aware of my personal biases, my style of communication and my preferences. I'm also aware that different departments within organisations may have different styles of working and I would always be sensitive to and respect, respectful of different cultures, views and aspirations. So that's my own personal example response to that question, how well do you work in a diverse team? And I personally believe, having worked for many years in a large organisation such as the fire service, that if an organisation is diverse in nature, it can provide a better service to the communities it is serving and above all to its clients. So our diversity in a team, in my experience, is absolutely vital if an organisation is going to be successful.
So the next thing to do is click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com and have a look at my 26 Goldman Sachs interview questions. And you also have the option to download my guide in PDF format, all of the 26 questions and answers, including the ones we have been working through together today. On that page, there are also a number of important tips I have provided for you to help you be the standout candidate at your Goldman Sachs interview. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn, and please do give the video a like. Thank you very much for watching and for giving me your time. I wish you all the best for passing your Goldman Sachs job interview. Have a brilliant day.